Hey everybody, welcome back to the 509. Today I'm going to do a review on a Bark River Petty Z. This one is in S45VN, but it's not black canvas micarta. It's something else, but I'll show you that in just a minute. The reason, the main reason, well, two reasons I was doing this review is one, because, you know, it's obviously a really cool knife. But the other reason is because there's a drop coming up on DLT trading, and, um, uh, it's going to be pretty soon. They just recently uh, dropped the Taskmaster, and which is a new model. And um, what was it? The PSK EDC. Both both of those knives came out in Magna Cut. And according to the production uh, list schedule, I think that the Petty Z is coming up real soon after that. Now, pre-orders closed for it because it's way too late. But I was able to sneak one in for the new Petty Zs coming out. And I got, I'm getting one in Ghost Green Jade G10 with blue liners and uh, turquoise spacer. So looking forward to that one. I've got a uh, Bush Sex Phantom in that same combination and uh, I like it a lot. But let's go ahead and take a look at this knife here. Um, I've been watching, you know, I've been a member of the Bark River Boys on Facebook for a long time. And whenever one of these, um, these Petty Z's come up for sale, man, they're going to snap. They sell so fast. So these things are highly anticipated, really cool knives. And uh, when I got this one, uh, I was able to to get in there and get it right away. Right right place at the right time is what it boils down to. But this one was rehandled by, I think it was rehandled uh, by the former owner. Or he might, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I bought this knife. But uh, anyways, you can see that it's in walnut, turquoise, and stag. And it's got black liners. And then it's got the uh, the star mosaic pins. Just reminded me of Texas a lot. And I'm from Texas. I'm from San Antonio, born and raised. But uh, I couldn't, uh, I just couldn't pass this up. Man, this thing's so cool. And it works like a dream. I use this all the time when I'm chopping up stuff in the kitchen. But um, we're going to go through all the specs and we're going to compare some other knives that I've got here and uh, and we're going to go ahead and do the uh, coin thickness check so stick around we've got a few things to go over for this and uh, watch it till the end if you would all right at this point in time I was going to ask you guys if you all don't mind if you're not subscribed if you could go ahead and subscribe real quick while I'm taking these knives out of the bag here for that for the comparison we're talking about don't forget to hit the uh the bell notifications as well so here's a few knives that we're going to use to compare with as well so all right so i adjusted the camera so it's looking straight down because i noticed in some of the other videos when you angle it down and you're kind of looking at it at this direction the perspective is off so you put a ruler next to it and it just doesn't look right but uh We're going to start out by comparing this one to, let's start it with the uh, fin and bone because the fin and bone is actually the biggest knife that I brought to compare. And these three knives that I brought, in my opinion, let's see if we can put them there, fin and bone, modern mountain man, and the water moccasin, you know, we use, and also the Petty Z, but we use all of these in the kitchen all the time. And, uh, you know, we're trimming brisket or we're cutting vegetables, making salsa, doing whatever, but we use all these knives. Uh, cutting our steaks, you know, we use our water moccasins and so on. But anyways, I brought these to compare them to this just because they're all being used in the kitchen. So that's the main reason. So let's move these out of the way. And then the first one we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use, or uh, get out the, uh, let me move this up a little bit there, is we're going to go ahead and look at the, this is the fin and bone. This one's in Ghost Green Jade G10 with the blue liners. And let's take a look at this knife here. Now, this is a pretty good sized knife. If you look at them in comparison, the handles, they're pretty close in length, but thickness wise, they're different. And I didn't get those specs. But the main thing is uh, we were wanting to check the blade specs here. <coughs> Excuse me. So on the uh, Petty Z, we're looking at, let's see here, where am I? I've got my cheat sheet right here. Okay. Uh, we're looking at overall length is nine inches. Uh, let's see, let me put this in here. Nine inches there. Uh, the blade length is 4.7 inches, which is from the scale to the point there. Let's see, let me get a little bit 
closer. And then the cutting edge is gonna be four and a quarter inches. So from that point to the very point there, about four and a quarter inches. Uh, the blade thickness on this, and like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna check with the coins uh, when we're done with all these comparisons. The blade thickness is 0 0.085 for the Petty Z. Okay, so now the fin and bone, we're looking at an overall length of 10 and a half inches, which you can see, uh, let's see, let me line these up a little bit better. Actually, put that one there, put that one there. And then, okay, so the fin and bone, the overall length is about 10 and a half inches, which you can see right there. Actually, it's, it comes up to here. That's why I was saying the perspective is off. So if I move this over here, you can kind of almost see where it goes. 10 and a half inches. <clears throat> Uh, the blade length is six and an eighth inch, so that's uh, about an inch and a half, inch and five eighths maybe, longer than the uh, Petty Z. And then the blade thickness is 0 0.096, so it's, what, 11 thousandths thicker than the Petty Z. They're pretty darn close. If you put them side to side, it's almost, they're almost the same. Let's see if you feel it when you put them back to back like this. And yeah, you can, it's barely, 10 thousandths of an inch, that's barely so. Anyways, just wanna let you know about that one there. So the next one we're gonna look at uh, real quick is gonna be the Modern Mountain Man. Let's move this dude out of the way. And uh, guess what color I got this one in? <laughs> Oops. You're right. Uh, Ghost Green Jade G10 with the blue liners. This is a really cool knife as well. All right. So this one's a little bit smaller than a fin and bone and another knife that we frequently use in the kitchen as well. So the Modern Mountain Man, the overall length is 10 inches as opposed to this one at 10 and a half inches, slightly smaller. <clears throat> the blade length is 5.187 inches and that's about a 3 eighths of an inch difference over the let me see here, over the, okay, the blade length, the actual blade length from the scales to the point is about three eighths of an inch longer than the Petty Z if you look at it from here, but I don't know if you can see it from there. It's about three eighths of an inch when you look at it. And then the blade thickness on the Modern Mountain Man is 0 0.093, which is, let's see here, blade thickness, 0 0.085 on the Petty Z. So that one is uh, a little bit a little bit slimmer than the fin and bone, barely, 0 0.093 to 0 0.096. So, so basically what I'm trying to say is that the uh, blade thickness on the Petty Z is 0 0.085, the Modern Mountain Man is 0 0.093 and the fin and bone is 0.096. So let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we'll, the last one is gonna be the smallest one, and that's the water moccasin. This one is not in Ghost Green Jade G10. This is actually in black canvas micarta with blue liners. I bought this off the board as well. And let's take a look at this one. Oops. This is the smallest one, but yeah, it's just it's just a little bit smaller, but we do use this in the kitchen as well. we'll line these guys up. So now for the water moccasin real quick. The overall length is seven and three quarter inches. If you can kind of see that there. And it does come up to about right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The blade length itself is three and three quarters of an inch and the blade thickness is 0.125, which is an eighth inch. So it's actually quite a bit thicker than what the Petty Z is. And the thinness is what really helps it to be more slicey. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do here real quick is do the coin thickness comparison. So off camera, I went in and checked it out. I checked a few different ways and two pennies is way too thick. If you look at this here. I don't know if you can tell or not. Let's see if we can space it out a little bit. I'm looking through the camera at the same time here, or the phone. That's that's a little too thick. And then a nickel by itself is not thick enough. If you 
you can see that quarter by itself is not thick enough but two dimes i went ahead and checked two dimes and that's pretty darn close pretty close so if you get you a couple of dimes that'll tell you about how thick this uh petty z blade is you can have an idea of it all right so let's wrap this up i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to uh, click on the description in this video and check out my affiliate links and uh if you want to click on some of them or all of them and see what uh i found and put up there is a bunch of uh like i mentioned in some of the other knife videos they're kind of the same links but you can go on there and and find some leather dyes and some preservatives and some other kind of knives uh not other kinds of knives there's other bark river knives that are on there that you can buy uh on amazon as well they're knives that are usually like in black canvas or natural canvas or green canvas micartas you know that are usually on on amazon that you can usually get bravo ones and I, I can't remember what else there is but just check you can click on the description and and check that out so uh before you leave if you wouldn't mind uh give me a thumbs up and subscribe maybe share this video with your buddies and uh check out the bark river boys on facebook and uh we will talk to you later and we'll see you later back here at the 509 y'all take care